Okay, so now it's time to put on the uh, to to put on the um, the camshaft here on the top. So I'm just tightening down these. These little bolts that hold on the camshaft assembly and the cover. It should just tighten down there. Let me just get a, a vice grip. That's pretty good. Now, uh, there's little caps to go on the end of these here, which are in here. So they're just pretty straightforward. They just go on top here. Two, three, four, right? And now we have this apparatus which goes down here now again it's, there's only one way it can go and you have to change these all of these things have to be the back and then they have to go in on here Okay, now, so they have to be tightened down then, two bolts on top, we tighten these down and uh, then we can uh, get a feeler gauge and we bring this up to top dead center, I'll show you how to do that as well, and then we have to just uh, set these. need to get a socket to fit those. Actually a wrench would probably be better. Okay. Uh, these have to be set from what I recall um, 0.20 clearance on them. So this is twelve. I just want to give these a good tighten. Again, you can look at the torque on this if you want. Uh, crampshaft fully drain timing gear case and crampshaft fully just remove the pressure. Put you into that to bed for five weeks. Casey. Uh, about 12, I think it says 12. So, I'm giving them a bit more than 12, aren't I? Okay. So now,
we can back them all off first of all. Back them all off. So now, I want to bring this to top dead center. And we need to turn this a bit. And turn the engine again. Now I know I have top dead center marked here for piston one, which is this piston. Okay, so now I need to get a feeder gauge. Bear with me. Okay, feeler gauge, and I need to get a point two oh. That's the one I need. Point two. Where am I here? Okay, here we go. Point two oh. So now. Tighten this down anyway until I get fairly right here. And then it's, you need this to slide in and out. You want it to slide in and out, but you don't want it to be tight. So it's, it's just a matter of gauging it. And then you lock it off when you get it right, but you need to make sure that. It doesn't move again. Okay, it's getting stiff there now. now. I don't want it too stiff. You see, I don't want it like that, so I need it just there. Perfect. That's perfect there now. So, okay. So the best way is, is just to see which way the, the screw, screwdriver is and just try and keep it, keep it so it doesn't move. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, you go along and do this one as well. Okay. And then I tighten it up. You want to make sure that it doesn't move when you're tightening it because it's easy enough it does. Okay, so I'm pretty good with that. Okay, so now I need to bring it around to, for the other piston. So I need top dead center for the other piston, which I need to start out. Okay, and that's there. And so then I need to do exactly the same. So I'm not even going to show you that because it's exactly the same. Then I put the cover back on and I tighten it and I tighten up the cover. That's basically then pistons are in, shaft is in, uh, all the gears are in. Basically the engine is more or less rebuilt then it's auxiliary stuff like the bell housing, like the starter, like the alternator, like the engine mountains, like the oil pan, like all that stuff. So I'm going to see how I'm going to put that stuff together. Will I do a series of videos or will I do just uh, one video or something like that just to show you it all going together. Anyway, we'll see how that works out. Uh, okay, thanks, bye.